Hi everybody and welcome to this week's BBO Weekly Free Instant Tournament and number 70 of these over my shoulder videos where I try and demonstrate the thought processes that can go into playing a bridge hand. Um, you'll get most out of this if you've already tried playing um, this week's BBO Weekly Free Instant Tournament before you watch the video. So you might want to do that now. Um, Anyway, if you've done that, we'll move on and play board one here. Um, so we've got a flat 13 count in Akol. That would be a nice, simple one no trump opening. Um, but the robot plays strong no trump five card majors, two over one. So we have to open this one club. Unless we wanted to upgrade it to 15, 17, but it's nowhere near an upgrade. So, one no trump here. If this, I don't want of a major, one no trump would have been forcing, but this time over one of a minor, the robot doesn't play it as forcing, but they have denied either four hearts or four spades. You'll see they've got two to three hearts, two to three spades, and they've, their four card suits or suits are the minors. Um, seven plus six to ten high card points. So we don't have enough for game. Um, there's no reason to be another suit. We know they don't have four hearts. We've got a flat hand that wants to play him on no trump. Probably an Akol we'd have opened on no trump and our partner would have passed. But it's just being played from the opposite hand. Be interesting to see if that makes a difference. Anyway, we're going to pass. And here we are playing. So now remember that this south hand is the one that the opponents can see. Um, the north hand is the hidden hand. And it's difficult to see much to this, really. Um, we've got four heart tricks and four club tricks. And it probably, by, that by the time we cash them, the robots will work out were to cash their five tricks. Um, we will, in the end, after we've cashed our five tricks, want to lead a spade from the north hand towards the queen, just on the off chance that something interesting will happen. And uh, we just need to decide we will have to find a discard in the north hand on the fourth round of hearts. And probably we should do, throw a spade away just to try and be marginally deceptive. And we want to end up after we cash our eight tricks in the north hand. So that means we have to get our four hearts first and then our four clubs finishing in the north hand. So we may as well let this one and we cash our four hearts does look like the East robot has four as well, in which case the West robot will just have two, but it could be three, three. Nope, there we go. So they've thrown a club, delaying the evil day. I'm going to throw a spade just to try and be deceptive. Uh, this hand's thrown two clubs. Well, they're going to have to find some discards on these clubs now. So they've started throwing spades. Well, it looks like they keep they know they're going to run all their diamonds. Well, Yep, indeed so. 53%, so that looks like that's pretty much what everybody's done, apart from the one that got to three clubs and managed to get zero for that. <coughs> Very little we could do to engineer a swing on that board in our favour. 
Right. So week two bid on our right. Um, notice we've got 11 points here, and this is a best hand tournament. So this is a bit of logic that's not normally available to you on a bridge hand, which is that um, the points are pretty even around the table. Since you've got 11 and nobody else can have it more than 11, um, you know, there could be two, 11, two other 11s and an 8, but apart from that, it's going to be even more evenly distributed. So we've got six hearts on our right. Um, we're vulnerable and they're not. So we can never afford to be more than one off. Because otherwise it will cost more than <coughs> their part score. Being two off vulnerable, 200 is more than any part score. So really the only question is here, do we bid two spades? Do we double? Do we pass? Well, I can tell you we don't double because partner can respond in diamonds and we're stuffed. We know the points are not very even. So diamonds place at the three level. So the advantage of two spades is that we're at the two level. We've only got five spades. They've got six hearts. And we know the hearts are breaking reasonably well for them by the looks of it. Um, we really are don't know anything could be right two spades could be right if partner turns up with four spades and nine points especially if they've got the ten or the queen of clubs but pass could be right and it can be right in two ways one of what is that partner's got a lot of hearts and uh, this is but the other one is that it gets around to partner and partner short in hearts and partner can double. And now we can bid spades with a lot more confidence. So I think I'm going to pass here. The partners bid two spades. Now, the thing that we here, 12 to 18 total points. Well, we know they don't have 12 high card points. They can't have more than us. But they do have five spades. So we have a 10 card spade fit. So we would have been Danger is if we overcall two spades, <coughs> our partner might have got too high. So I think we're going to pass. I don't think West is going to be three hearts. No. Right. The partner sat there with five hearts and five spades. And no interesting. And We'll notice oh, here comes the ace of hearts. I think we're going to find that West has no hearts. We'll keep the three. Now here comes the heart rough. And probably a diamond back. Yep. It's the king of diamond. Oh, this hand. So they're probably going to try and give this hand. No, the cashing the club. Right, so now we're fine. We know they've roughed once. We've got 10 spades. They have three. They've only got two left. We can draw two, and that will still be able to cross rough all the rest of the tricks. We can rough these three clubs in dummy. So we'll cross. And draw the last trump. And now... You can see we can cross rough as well as the King of Hearts as a winner anyway. And that's not good. So is that because if I'd bid spades, no. um, we'd have got a different lead? Four spades plus one played by South. So if I bid two spades, you get four spades and the opening lead 
He's the king of clubs. All right. Now, of course, you could draw trumps. There's no heart rough. We lose one heart and two diamonds. So bidding spades was the crucial thing, but you could, you know, that's the way it turned out. It could equally, but the honours of could equal, in clubs and diamonds could equally well have been the other way around. And it would have played better from my partner's hand. Um, as I say, it could have been right to do either of them. 13 points this time. Singleton spade, five hearts, four clubs. And we're going to open a heart. And I've got place five card majors, so and two hearts now. How does the robot play three clubs here? Leaning club, 16 to 17 total points, four seats to three hearts. Don't have 16 to 17. Well, I do because they add on points for um, singletons. See, if my partner can fill in clubs, uh, three plus hearts, seven, ten total points. So we give them the queen of hearts, queen jack of clubs, queen of diamonds. <laughs> that's a minimum and um, I'm probably going to make just lose three tricks and make I think I've got to bid three clubs and just see if partner can give me four hearts as a result they do so that should mean they have something in hearts um You find out on hearts in in clubs. Well, then, Jack 10. We've got the ace of spades, so we've got no spade losers. We shouldn't have more than two diamond losers. We're not going to have any heart losers. So it looks as though it'll depend on finding the queen of clubs right, um, which I think I'm going to do fairly swiftly. So I'm going to win the queen of hearts. The reason is I might want to get around to being able to rough a diamond in dummy. Probably not, but that's just. Uh -huh, that doesn't look good. Looks like we're going to suffer a club rough here. Nope, I played hearts. So we got. I really want to win this in dummy and try playing a diamond to the king. I want to lose just one diamond trick and really, well, there are a couple of ways. The fact that I didn't get their club rough. So, this could mean that the clubs are 3 3. I never thought about the line of setting up spades. Maybe that was better. But... So, I can play just for the ace of diamonds to be right. And the robots never switch to diamonds, which suggests that they are. Um, well, I've still got two diamond losers. So, one possibility is to win this, play two rounds of clubs, hoping that the hand that has the last heart also has four clubs. But they still get a chance. Right. Let's play the diamond. And it. Use their fourth trick. 
and the problem and I play the heart just to prevent me opening it so now I'm going to play so I could have taken that line but and that would have worked I could have played four rounds of clubs this East had the last heart they would have to follow throw the diamond away cross to the ace of spades lead the diamond from dummy to the king and then I could have roughed a diamond there so that line would have worked At the moment I'm struggling just to get out for one off so sure looks like I'll be two off Seven point one percent. So I shouldn't have pressed on to four spades, four hearts rather. So just have settled for two, and made I could have made three. There was a line for four. Right. Uh, well, oops. so one heart, one no trump from east, and here double is. You know, looks a perfectly good bid um, because that double of one no trump here would be take out of hearts showing the other three suits, which I do have. But I do have five cards in the other major. So it's better to bid your five card major here and then you might get another chance to double to show the other two suits. If the five card suit were a minor and you had a four card major, I would definitely be doubling here. You want to get your five card major. Right. Oh, here we go again. Well, this hand's got its 11 points. This was a forcing one now, Trump, but, you know, six. So we have only got 23 points. We've probably got some diamond losers, a spade loser. No, we can't lose it. So we're passing this. And we'll see what happens. So, the difficulty is diamonds. We've got no heart losers, we should have no club losers. We've got a diamond fit. I think I'm going to. Although there's a risk that they'll rough a diamond, I'm going to take that diamond finesse, which we lose. Right, so diamonds are all good. Expect the ace is winning here, and now we're getting the queen of diamonds coming back. Now the queen of hearts, excellent. So my club loser will go away on a diamond eventually. So now I just it's just a question of and the robot very kindly covers. No, well, because they had to. Right, so we do have a spade loser. Um, if this hand has a diamond, right, I've got a. They have nine X of spades left. So I'm going to rough my club loser in dummy. And 
if the King of Diamonds stands up, which he doesn't, but now I've got the rest. There we go, Ten of Spades. But if the King of Diamonds has stood up, then I could have carried on playing diamonds, throwing my clubs away, and the robot would have had to rough. Um, so I can now claim the rest of the tricks, the contract making. That's a bit more like it, 78.6%. Um, before we go on to board five, I was just thinking that I should go back to board three and show you how I could have made four hearts. Um, so I'm just going to get that up on the screen here. And uh, show you how the play went. And see if I'm right in thinking that I should, should could and well have made it. So we've got the five of hearts lead. Club finesse, the two comes back, the ace. They fail to get their club rough at this point. So hearts doesn't much matter. Um so now I can play the ten of clubs, four of clubs, king of clubs. Um this hand has to throw something away, maybe a diamond, and nine of clubs. Um, maybe another diamond, two of diamonds, seven of clubs. Now I can cross with the three of spades to the ace and lead the three of diamonds. Uh, doesn't matter what much, much what this hand plays, but soon they play the jack. I play the king. This hand plays the ace, and uh, now they either have to play a spade or a diamond. If they play a diamond, I rough it straight away in dummy, so let's assume they play the eight of spades. I've got the nine on, the king appears here. I can rough this, um, and uh, And now I can rough a diamond. But I am, in fact, I am still a trick short. So I wouldn't have made it even if I'd taken, I'd have got out for one off if I'd taken this line. Still got a diamond in set um, and two trump. So I'd have made nine tricks. So there was a, that was the line that I could have taken and got me a better score. But the best thing would have been not to bid up the game. Right, seven, ten, thirteen, flat thirteen counts, nice simple one no trump in Ackle. Um but um one diamond for the robot. One heart and partner, one no trump now says I got twelve to fourteen points. Um we're playing it the same as we would in Ackle, but we told the robot a bit more about our hands. So, and in fact, in Ackhole, I'd have opened one no trump and there'd have been a transfer to hearts there. And we'd have played in two hearts um, rather than one no trump. So here, four of spades lead, where's the three? Um, we're going to get a spade trick. We may get some diamond tricks. The real thing is we need to play on hearts, set up three heart tricks, almost certainly. Uh, Queen Jack 10, hopefully we'll take care of the first three rounds of the suits, and then we'll have two more small ones. We've got an ace of clubs as an entry. So we'll have to give them two heart tricks, but we can't really stop that. So 
Are they going to switch? No. Uh, queen should draw the king. Um, am I going to throw here? I'm not going to throw a heart because I'm going to set them up. I don't really want to throw a club because it weakens the club suit. So I'm going to throw a diamond. Might make them play diamonds sometime. And they've gone straight up with the King of Hearts. So we're going to cash some spades now. Um, and then the King of Clubs. Excellent. So now I'm going to set up my heart tricks. There's the ace, the hearts are now all good. And another club, which solves, picks up the jack of clubs for me. Oh, it's all right. I can win the nine. And now three of hearts can go to the queen. Hearts are all good, and I've got a winning club and a winning diamond for, for those two tens. So I can claim the rest of the tricks. Making plus one, which is another 78% gets us above average anyway with three boards to go. Let's see how much further we can climb um, and do a bit better than last week. Well, that's his 14 count. Singleton spade though, so one club, one diamond. So I think the robot will just think that's one heart's what we've got to bid. Three diamonds by the robot. Lumber Mitchell rebid. He's got six plus diamonds, 11 to 12 total points. All right, so this is interesting. Um, They've got a spade stop, then three no trumps may be the best place. So I wonder what three spades means. It means that I got four plus spades, right. So why I should ever want to move that, having followed this sequence, I don't know. But uh, well, I wouldn't just bid no trumps. So we've got one spade loser. Six diamonds, 11 to 12 total points. Right. Oh, that's got one of the red aces. Good. Not too much in spades. Five diamonds is a reasonable contract. Yeah, I don't think it's any point in bidding anything else. So if I bid, just to bid four clubs here, two minus diamonds. Yeah, no, we bid, we're going to bid five diamonds. We may be off three top tricks, but. Right. So I've had a club. Excellent. And you see those hearts fit in nicely. We sh the problem is that we have a spade loser, a heart loser, and we may well have a diamond loser. So we're certainly going up with the ace to start with. Remember, my one club bid could have been a three card suit, so the robot's often going to leave my suit. So we can get a bit short of entries to this hand. Now, there's the jack. That doesn't look so helpful.
Right. So there isn't another line other than try. Well, we're going to try and drop the Queen of Diamonds. If we don't, we're going to play on clubs and club to the king, queen of clubs, throw a spade um, and if the clubs are 3-3 three, 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 because we had 7 between us then that club will be good and I can throw another spade away while they rough with the winning trump if they have a winning trump so let's See what happens. They do have a winning trump. Fortunately, this hand's probably short in clubs. So, but if they do rough, then this 10 will be able to take care of. This. So, let's hope they led from a four card suit. Well, no, let's hope they led from a three card suit. They did. So now eight of clubs is a winner. And we throw the queen of spades away. They can trump with their winning trump. Cash their ace of hearts. And that's it. We've managed to make five diamonds. So the thing to do was just to spot the extra chance that if the diamonds weren't 2-2, two, two, so we had six diamonds in one hand, three diamonds in the other, that's nine, so they had four. So if they'd been 2-2, two, two, they would all have fallen under the ace and king. Um, that didn't seem so likely when the jack appeared. But the other alternate hope was that um, they would have to follow to three rounds of clubs Um while I threw a spade away, and then on the, the fourth round of clubs would be good. And while I threw the spade away, they could trump with their master trump, which they were always going to make anyway. But by that time, I got rid of my spade losers. Um, I noticed I couldn't have done it by trying to set up the hearts to throw a spade away because they'd got in with the ace of hearts and cashed a spade. So that's pretty good. I can claim the rest of the tricks now. Contract making, and as usual, 78.6%. Um, moves up again slightly. Yet another flattish 13 count. Lots of those today. Lots of those have been quite nice to handle an ackle. But this is, since you've got a five card major, you could open one heart with the robot. Three hearts is a limit raise much the same as in Akol, although now you know you have a nine card fit in Akol. You know, we would, the opening might have been four hearts. So, but the three heart bid does promise four hearts. You can't do it with the three hearts, even though there's five here. So we have a nine card fit, 10 to 12 total points. What do we reckon? Again, What's partner going to have? Give the ace wants to give them the ace of hearts. And a king over here somewhere. It's seven. We've got another card. And we've got one, two. three, four losers then. So it does look like there's a, the real danger is that they've got points in spades and no points in the minors, and then we're in a lot of trouble. But then we might not even make three hearts. So I think it's probably worth bidding four hearts here. And we'll see what comes. So partner does have a lot of points in spades, but... Um, and not quite as many points as we hoped in hearts. But <coughs> this hand's got king, queen of spades. Um, we can set up some spades to throw, some, get some discards, we hope. So we're going to win the ace of spades. 
The nine has appeared from there, so we've got to just knock out the queen and the other spades are good. Danger is that this hands, the nine is a singleton, but it might be high low from the doubleton. And we're going to play hearts now and hope to lose to this hand because they can't attack clubs from that hand without giving us a trick. Um, what are we going to lead? Which heart? Um, I think we're going to lead the four and put in the ten unless the ace or queen appear. Um, And the nine appears. Right, so it looks as like we've got ace queen over here. Um, we started with nine, so that's all they've got is the ace and queen. So we do have a fairly good chance now. Do we want to give them the ace and queen? Really, we'd like to get to dummy and uh, get some discards. But we're always going to be able to rough the seven of diamonds in dummy because they've only got two hearts left. So there will always be that. Um, and we, the club finesse may work. So, yeah, it seems like we'll always have enough entries to dummy. So let's finesse the heart. The over tricks are crucial in pairs. So I need to lead. Well, they've only got ace and queen, so it doesn't matter which one I lead. Right. So that's by letting them lead clubs. I've got them set up that club trick, which they're going to cash. So I'm going to cash the king of hearts now. Look and queen. And now I'm going to play the five of spades. They'll go up with the queen and I'm going to cash the king of clubs. Here's the Queen of Diamonds. I win with the Ace. And I can rough the Eight of Diamonds to get the dummy. The Queen of Clubs is good. The Spades are all good. So I can claim just making the contract. 20, 67. People manage an over trick. Three people managed an over trick to get 92. It's really what I wanted to try and do. And we'll manage that by playing the spade earlier well, because there's a doubleton spade. I was worried about um, there being a singleton spade. Um, right. Okay, on to board eight. Still in sixth place. Eight hearts, four spades. Lloyd in the suit, the partner's open, but we've got the ace of clubs. We've got 13 points, so remember, partner won't have any more than that. Um, we don't want to play in spades if partner's got four spades. Um, if I bid four hearts here, is this some kind of preemptive jump long suit? six to ten high card points um, I wouldn't do this if I were playing you know an ordinary hand where partner might have 18 points or something but here I don't think there's a slam on there they go with their spades I 
and somebody's getting apparently thinks they're getting a rough. Oh, right. Okay. Nice. So, so the spades are good. So just a case of obviously partner doesn't have any hearts. We've got eight. So they've got five. Now that's four of them gone. So the last one will go on this one. There we go. And then spades are good. So we can claim 450, which lots of other people have done. 60.7%. It's not going to move us up very much. Oh. There we are, the 58%, but everybody's close above us, so we just needed one more good score um, to get there. 63%, so not bidding four hearts on board three would have been the good step. We could have, uh, just passing two hearts would have got us a winning score there. Anyway, I hope you found some of those um, hand interesting and the logic that you can pursue to um, make your contracts, make over tricks, get better scores. Um, so I hope I mean, some of you may not be looking at this till a, year's, you know, a year after it was recorded, but um, for those of you who are watching it just now, um, Merry Christmas, and um, I'll probably see you again just before the new year. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good holiday.